One of my favorite things to see in our hobby is all of the small creators contributing to the community. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Hey, welcome back guys. Jason, KM4ACK. I absolutely love to see all of the small creators that contribute to our community at large. Today, I've got a pretty interesting little gadget for you. It's not anything super unique, but it is really, really well done, and he offers a tremendous selection of these switches. This is Smitty's switches, and you'll see in a second, I mean, he offers a truckload of different designs that you can use. So you can probably find a switch regardless of what you need to turn on, turn off, or protect with a fuse. These are 3D printed, and, like I said, they are really, really well done. I'll also leave a link to his website, and if he's got a comment section on there, be sure to tell him that KM4ACK sent you. Let's go ahead and jump over to the bench, and let me show you a few of the variations he offers. Now, when I tell you guys that he offers several different varieties, I mean, he literally offers several different varieties. So let's take a quick look at a few of these varieties this morning. Let's clear some of these off the table, and we'll start with one of his very, very basic switches. This is an inline switch here, so you've got the input on one side, the output on the other, and he does mark these where the input is supposed to be. And this is simply a switch for on or off. So one of the most basic basic switches you can get, but very nicely done. 3D printing is spot on. Very similar to that first one is this one here. Instead of having an on-off switch, it simply has a fuse in the middle. So if you've got a circuit that you need to fuse, you could throw this guy in line and have it fused to whichever size fuse you need. Now let's take a look at another one of the switches that he offers. This one has an input on one side, a switch connector on the other, and a pass-through on this side of it. So we can see that. Let's go ahead and turn that on. Let's put our meter in here so we can see it. And let's take a look at this. And you'll see that that is on. We can switch that one off. But even with the switch off, we still have voltage on the other side. Now, this one is a little bit simpler design. We've simply got an input right here. We've got three outputs and it's fused with one single fuse. It is switched so that we can turn these on or off. Now we can't do them individually. This is going to kill power to all three of them simultaneously. Now this variation is very similar to the one we just looked at. When you've got power connected, you will get the green LED indicator, but each one of these circuits is fused individually. So you've got a master fuse back here and then four individually fused circuits. The input is on the side for this one and it's a max of 40 amps. Now, moving on up, we have another one. This time though, input on the side, master switch, and three individually fused circuits, but we also add a switch so that we can cut these circuits all on or off as needed. Now, if you prefer individually switched units, he has those as well. So we got the input on the side. Let's go ahead and connect that. We'll kind of cover that green light so you can see a little bit better. And then we can turn each of these circuits on or off with these two rocker switches right here. Each of these, again, is individually fused to protect your equipment. So there's a look at a few variations that Smitty's switches offers you. If you found today's information helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.